Hello. It's a beautiful day. It's still February, but man, spring is coming and it's going to be gorgeous. I can't wait. One of the things that I deal with on this, with the tension in my body that I had for so many years and, and kept getting worse, when it's cold, when your body tightens up because of being cold, I mean, that's killer. The winds, the energy in the winds, winters are tough. They have been tough. They're even getting better now, so it wasn't a bad winter, but it was enough that normally I would have had so many problems. It's been a really rough couple of days. Um, not sure even what I last posted that I had recorded, but so many things going up the way that the muscles that go up and around each side of my neck have been straightening out and what that's doing to my jaw and my face back of my neck, my head so much of this I'm having to understand for myself because the only doctor that I've met that has any real intuit or information to give me about this, and I've asked to speak to others, but he's a psychologist and he's given me exercises to re stimulate and recenter myself and be able to deal with not just unraveling all the tension, but how to not have it develop and how to be more present in the world and less disconnected from it because of all the things that have happened to me. So, amen to him for that. I, but the physical part of this that's been, you know, if other people out there, please, if you've had experiences that you've dealt with polyvagal or your parasympathetic nervous system not functioning or something to do with your nervous system that has caused you a physical disconnect between the way that your brain and your body communicate, please comment, share. I'll open this up to uh, what is stitching. I want to hear other people's stories. You know, I, I, I search online for polyvagal or anything to do with what I've been experiencing. And it's all therapists talking about how to heal and how to do this and how it works and these different theories. But I'm not seeing other people that have talked about what they've been through and how they've gone about healing it. It's called polyvagal, polyvagal theory, because it's just a theory, and the science used in developing it is a bit iffy. But I suffered from something all of my life. And the different things that happened to me over my life caused my brain did not be able to tell my body to relax and then different injuries and different things happened and, and I became horribly dysfunctional. It's so difficult at this point just even wrapping my head around how I got by with how my body was even how it is still today that doctors haven't been able to really see. I mean, they've seen a lot of things, but just little bits of the puzzle.
So please, if somebody out there has ever told you that you have polyvagal or you've had something that presents as, you know, you, you can't move your body in certain ways or you have, like, palsies. I had a relative that just recently had something with her hand that she has had a paralyzation of her hand because of something that happened. These things that get written off by the medical system as, oh, you've got an injury from that or this. I would tell doctors and therapists and physical therapists, mental therapists about what I was presenting with and they would all witness how my body didn't function properly. But none of them could tell me what it was. And the science is getting there now. And so I'm trying to raise awareness of this. It's made such a profound difference in my life. In five months, a little over five months, the freedom that I have in movement, it's not all there yet. And it's been crossing a river of tears in order to get through this. But if only you could. So please, if you know somebody who has this or has been talked about this or you think that they have something similar, Show them this video. Show them my other TikToks. Or if this is on YouTube, if you see it there, it's real underscore blackbird flying. You'll find me on uh, through hashtags that way. Uh, my call sign on most of my social media is that way. So, Keep on healing, keep on struggling to get through and, and fighting because I didn't know I was struggling for 50 years. I wasn't really struggling for 50 years. It wasn't until I had accidents after some injuries after 2001, 2003. And then my life became hell, but it was because of the struggle that I had. I didn't even know that I was fighting up until that point. So, peace and love. Find your happiness. Let go of the negativity. Let go of the hate. Let people be who they're going to be, so long as they're not stepping on your toes. And if they are, be gentle. Set them straight. It doesn't do you any good to lose your temper. Trust me, I know.